In this lecture, let us see how to solve this monkey and banana problem. So, scenario is there is a monkey at the door into the room. So, here you can see there is a door and monkey is at the door. In the middle of the room, there is a banana which is hanging from the ceiling. Here, monkey is hungry and wants to get this banana, but it can't stretch high enough from the float. So, from here, from this position, it can't uh, catch or it can't get the banana. At the window of the room, there is a box and with the help of this box, mon uh, this monkey can get the banana. And the monkey can perform actions like it can walk on the floor, it can climb the box, push the box around. Say, if the box is at the window, then it can push the box at the middle and it can grasp the banana if standing on the box directly. Say, suppose if the box is at this place and if this banana, if this monkey is already standing on a box directly under the banana, then it can directly grasp that banana. So, can the monkey get the banana? So, that is our question. Here, the goal is monkey may be present at any position that is say if you take the first component here so it can be at the door or it can be at the window or it can be middle okay it can be at the door or it can be at the window or it can be at the middle position it can be anywhere and if you take the second component here monkey can be on floor or on box it can be on floor or it can be on box and box may be third component is about box so box may be at window or it may be at the middle so we don't care about all these components so we are just focusing only on the last component that is whether the monkey has banana or not so finally monkey should have should get banana so that is our final goal so, here the states can be horizontal position of monkey, vertical position of monkey, position of the box and monkey has or has not the banana. So, this is our initial state. So, initially monkey is at the door. So, here you can see this picture. Monkey is at the door. That is the first one. And monkey is on the floor. Yes, monkey is on the floor. So, that is your second component and box is at the window. So, here box is at the window and initially monkey is not having banana. So, has not. So, state is represented with four components and these are the components at door, on floor, at window and has not. So, here there are mainly four types of moves. So, one is grasp, climb, push, walk. So, as I said you before, here monkey it can perform either of the four actions or moves in order to get the banana. And it is clear that not all moves are possible in every possible state of the world. Because, say if you take, uh, so here we can't perform all these four moves at a time. So, it is not possible to perform all of them in a in every possible state. So, we will see that. Now, how to represent a move? So, we are telling that using these moves, monkey can perform the task or we can achieve the goal. Then, how to define this move? So, move is mainly defined with three components. One is state 1, move and then state 2. So, here what is the state 1? So, state 1 is nothing but the state before the move. So, the state of the monkey before performing this move operation. State 2, it represents state after the move. And move is nothing but the type of move that is executed. So, it can be either of the four types. So, let us see these moves now. 
here this grasp move it can be performed or it is only possible if the monkey is standing on the box directly under the banana and if it is not having banana right so now see so how to represent a move move is represented with three components like state type of move and state two so state one it represents state before the move right so here in state we have four components one is the position of the monkey here monkey is present at the middle of the room and it is present on the box and box is present at the middle of the room and monkey is not having banana so this is the initial move now after performing this grasp operation or grasp move then state is changed to so here still monkey is at the middle of the room and it is on the box and box is at the middle now after performing this grasp monkey is having banana after grasping monkey has banana similarly you can execute this walk move so this walk is only possible if the monkey's horizontal position and box position is different so here position of the monkey and position of the box they should be different and vertical position of the monkey is on the floor in that case only we can execute this walk move say if you take this one so here monkey is at any position so like it can be uh, near the door or it can be at the window or it can be at the middle and monkey is on the floor so box can be at any place so again box can be at the window or it can be at the middle and monkey has banana so here walk the type of move is walk so we are changing the position of the monkey now so monkey is initially at position p1 after performing this walk move monkey will be changed to position 2 so it is moving from one or walking from one position to another position and on floor yes it can walk only on the floor so on floor it remains the same and box position also so we are not considering box position here and we are not bothered about whether it is having banana or not so we are just talking about walking so after walking monkey's position will be p2 so this is before walk and this is after walk then the move climb is only possible if the monkey's horizontal position and position of the box uh, uh, is at same place that means here monkey position and box position they should be at same place then only monkey can climb the box and vertical position of monkey is on floor so monkey should be on the floor then only it can climb on to box if it is already on box then it can't perform the operation right so initially monkey and box they are at same position and monkey is on the floor and here we are not bothered about monkey is having banana or not say suppose it is having banana and then climb so climb after climbing again there is no change in position of the monkey there is no change in position of the box but instead of uh, so earlier it is on the floor but after climbing it is on the box and you can write remaining components as it is then push move this is only possible if the monkey's horizontal position and box position is same as p1 so just like before here we are not bothered about position of the monkey and position of the box actually they should be in same position and initially monkey is on the floor and assume that is it is having banana now push operation is performed that means this monkey is pushing the box it is pushing box from one place to another place so initial position of the box uh, initial position of the monkey is p1 and after pushing it will also change its position right so monkey position is changed from p1 to p2 
and box as it pushed the box position of the box also changed from p1 to p2 and initially monkey is on the floor and after this push operation monkey is on the box and this you can take the component as it is this here this is not on box this is on floor only because monkey it just uh, perform push operation it just push the box but it is still on the floor only so before and after pushing the box position of the monkey is on the floor after performing this climb operation only monkey position will change from on floor to on box now we need to check whether the monkey if the monkey is in initial state then whether it can get the banana or not so you can uh, just formulate it using a predicate like this can get of yes so whether the monkey can get banana at initial state yes or not so you can write a program a prolog program in order to find out the problem find out the solution for this problem so there are actually two observations so for any state s in which monkey ha already has banana so say suppose if the monkey is already having banana then this can get function it returns true okay so in that case the moves are not required so you can uh, write it like this so can get of state so here the component can be anything but man that ba monkey is already having banana so if it is already having banana then then why to execute all these moves separately directly this predicate can get it will return true in the second case say suppose if moves are required and if the, if the banana if the monkey is not having banana then moves are necessary and monkey can get the banana in any state s1 if there is some move from s1 to s2 so monkey can then get the banana in state s2 so initially at state s1 it is not having banana so after performing some move from state 1 to state 2 at state 2 it may contain or it may get the banana in zero or more moves it can uh, implement any number of moves in order to get the banana so let us uh, see this rule now say if you take the same initial state then position of the monkey is it is at the door and box is at the window and monkey is not having banana so this can get of uh, s1 it returns false because monkey is not having banana and now you need to execute this move okay so it can be anything you can execute either of the four moves which we are having and after that execute this can get of s2 so now if so uh, after executing this move we'll check whether the monkey got the banana or not that means we are executing this can get of s2 say suppose if the monkey is still not having banana then you need to move backward move to the previous state so backtrack to the previous state and again execute another move so like that you need to repeat the process until the task is achieved that means until monkey get the banana